We all know that the apocalypse, there's that word, the A word apocalypse, apocalypse, what is it? Well, it's the complete destruction of the world as described in some detail in the biblical book of Revelation. Nothing worse can happen to humanity. Nothing worse can happen except Armageddon apocalypse. I mean, use your A words, Apollyon, Abaddon. Uh, interestingly, it's been a reoccurring aspect of civilization for over 2,000 years, but every prediction of the end times has failed. No one has been able to pinpoint the expiration date of the planet. Yet, modern-day society is proving that apocalypse has multiple possible outcomes. In fact, a case can be made that it's never been closer to reality because it's already happening here and there. Little by little, we are seeing the destruction of this planet. We're seeing the end. The earth is dying in, in bits and pieces. People are going away in bits and pieces. We are slowly slipping away. Our mortality rates are higher and we're dying of diseases. And it's almost like the planet is trying to shake us off or someone is pulling the string. Someone is pushing the button. Someone is going to push that button and send us over the edge of some apocalyptic nightmare or radioactive nightmare. But the great cosmic joke is that we humans are told that we're going to be seeing signs that the apocalypse is happening. And throughout history, people have dreamed dreams. And many of them now, and I've been reading uh, some very interesting stories from websites that are not in the United States. Like I said, there's no collective recount of paranormal happenings in these areas like Ukraine and Russia. But in Ukraine and Russia, there are dreams that are being dreamt by a lot of people. And a lot of it deals with apocalyptic imagery. Uh, and I think it's because of the fact that the people there are very religious. And the concept of the apocalypse is a very powerful force to this day, especially amongst people that are true believers. And not only uh, is it, you know, they're getting ever closer to apocalypse because they they see the bombs and they... And they um, the experiences they are saying though the bombs that are being dropped there are actually rising beings and entities and feelings that they thought were banished to hell after World War II, and a lot of the signs and symbols are still there. And one of the uh, stories that really caught my eye was the story of people who are having these dreams of what are called chorts. What chorts are is their little almond-eyed, horned, thin beings with tails that look like uh, traditional demons. And there's also a, a recount of how uh, a being that was known as the uh, Blackbird of Chernobyl is a, a creature that rose above the horizon uh, near Pripyat, which of course is uh, right there near Chernobyl, the, the power plant. And it was called this, they were saying that what they were seeing was this uh, hideous humanoid with giant wings, black headless body, and red glowing eyes sending a message of doom to all who gazed upon it. And some thought it was a witch, some said it was the Baba Yaga, and others were certain that it was, the, it was basically the angel of death. That when the angel of death appears, it was a portent to a horrible event, much like Mothman, much like uh, what happened in Point Pleasant where the Mothman shows up for 13 days Mothman, Mothman is terrorizing this area of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. And then the bridge that goes over the Ohio, the Ohio River collapses. And they thought that this being was a, a curse or, or some sort of a being that was a, um, a harbinger of death. And so in the days leading up to the Chernobyl disaster, several of the workers at the control room of the nuclear power plant in northern Ukraine claimed to have seen this, this tall or this huge hideous creature with leather-like wings flying away, flying around through the area. And they're saying that leading, leading up to the days of the disaster, which uh, April 26, 1986, it, this creature was sighted in the sky over Chernobyl. Many men in the control room kept seeing it. And they also claimed to have seen this terrifying creature just before the explosion happened. People in and around the power plant began experiencing many strange events. And, of course, these all revolved around the sighting of this leather-winged creature, this, this blackbird, they called it. A large, dark, and mutated creature with large wings, piercing red eyes. 
and people affected by the phenomenon also experienced nightmares and at first-hand encounters describing this creature, this hideous beast that came out that came out of the uh, of the ground and bringing with him chorts or these other beings. Like I said, it reminds you if you if you think back to Fantasia, the in the mind's eye, you remember that creature, the Chernabog, opening up. And, and the Chernabog story comes from Kiev, as a matter of fact. This Chernabog comes up and brings all of these demonic entities to the surface. And they were just in Turkey. They found a, a, a carving of the same entity, rising almanite aliens or almanite creatures out of the ground. And it was sig- significant of the last day. But what's scary about this whole Blackbird of Chernobyl, what's scary about Chernobog, and the idea that Chernobog sounds like Chernobyl. Chernobyl, Chernobyl, it's, it, and many believe that Chernobyl is actually Wormwood. I mean, it's the word equivalent in Ukrainian of, of, of uh, Wormwood in the Bible. So many believe that this blackbird of chernobyl this this hideous creature this whatever it was was part of some blood curse because many people were poisoned by the radiation from the power plant when it blew up and so it's been proposed that this is all a part of modern magic or apocalyptic folklore or at least apocalyptic images and visions that people have been having and so now according to the india times Many Ukrainians and Russians are having the same dreams again, the dreams of this large creature with wings and these other creatures called chorts that are being raised from the dead or raised from uh, the ground. They are uh, demons that they thought that they had exercised after World War II, but no, they've returned. And they, they even bring up the Azov Battalion. They bring, they bring up the swastikas, the Totenkoffs. They bring up all the symbolism. They even bring up the shooting saying that in the manifesto, the shooting in Buffalo – that the kid also had the same symbols as the Azov Battalion. So, and there's even a, a, a story out of Pripyat, a guy by the name of uh, uh, Naman ba- Bialik, uh, Chaim Naman Bialik. He wrote a poem that begins, like he says, Welcome back to my window, you lovely bird, meaning the dark bird coming to, coming to him, meaning death. In 1903, he wrote about the Kishnev pogrom, which broke out in, uh, Moldova on the border with Ukraine. And the poem says this. It's it's really creepy. It goes like this. Executioner, executioner, here's my neck. Slaughter, you've got the axe in the arm. The world to me is a butcher block. We whose numbers are small, it's open season on our blood. Crack a skull, let the blood of infant and elder spurt on your chest and let it remain there forever and ever. I mean, that's creepy. That, that the, the idea of the blackbird is the executioner, the symbol of death. And there have been reports that people are having nightmares of these chorts. They're having apocalyptic dreams, signs again. The idea of the chorts, evil demons with horns and hoofs and skinny tails and pig's faces, all part. And all the sons and daughters, they say, of the Slavic god Chernabog and, of course, the goddess Mera. And many of us, like I say, remember Chernabog from Fantasia. The story goes that on Walpurgis night, Chernabog emerges from the peak of Mount Trigolf near Kiev, summon all of his minions, and he throws them all into the bottomless pit. Many of his minions are the Chorts, who spread death and war all over the villages of Kiev. Interesting that they're having these dreams again, these images in their mind. What other signs and wonders have you heard about happening? Because certainly we live in some very strange times.